we've drawn every single land at this point almost. Like, it's insane. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's up guys? Before we jump into today's video, I just want to give you a quick heads up. We have got a brand new series coming out called It Is What It Is starting on February 8th at noon Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put that schedule up on screen for you right now. It's a really exciting series with my good friend and fellow YouTuber Country Fried where we are going to be building some jank decks in a semi-competitive historic format uh, just to have some fun and uh, hopefully build some fun stuff along the way. So please do mark your calendars. Check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun and go ahead and subscribe over with country fried as well so you can get all of the updates from both of us we will have updates on both channels so please do check all of that out now let's get into the video what is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video i hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today uh i am going to attempt to play this this really interesting deck but before we do that i just want to remind you please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already it is a great way to support but not only that you are entered to win a free neon dynasty booster box given away on February 23rd. Uh, so there's a lot of awesome stuff to be had here. There's also a brand new series, which you should have seen a little ad for at the very beginning of this video, uh, that uh, is gonna be a lot of fun. That's starting on February 8th. It is what it is, is the name of that series. It's gonna be a great time, but let's talk about the deck. So this is brought to us by Hello Good Game. So credit where credit's due. Thank you so much, Hello Good Game, for not only putting out your own video, of course, on this and building this deck, but sharing it over on Aetherhub. I will link Hello Good Game down below, so please go check them out. Uh, fantastic channel, much more successful than we are, but uh, a very good channel to watch, a great resource as well. So the, the idea behind this is to turbo out Kaya uh, and kind of do a lot of fun shenanigans along the way. So this is very much a silly deck, but very powerful, I think. Uh, as we go through and we'll kind of talk about this as we go but uh, in the one drop slot we've got shambling ghast a tried and true classic at this point we know it trades off well in the early game if it dies with a meat hook massacre uh, it can not only give us a treasure token but also maybe take something out like there's a lot of positives around this so we'll see how this actually works out and how it actually matches up in a lot of these standard games dig up of course uh, a nice little uh, uh, spell to either ramp basically help us get our lands or uh, just search out and tutor up basically anything we need whether that be a kaya a boring Clex, whatever it might be so ha absolutely a powerful card here uh deadly dispute is here of course works super well with the uh shambling ghast you can also sacrifice an artifact instead uh and so there are ways if we want to sack it like a treasure token or something we can do that uh, emergent sequence sorcery one and a green search your library for a basic land card put it onto the battlefield tab then uh, that land becomes a zero zero green and blue fractal creature it's still a land and then you put a one one counter on it for each land you had entered the battlefield under uh, your control this turn so uh, not only a nice little two mana kind of ramp spell but it also provides us with a little bit of a creature which we can utilize either for the deadly dispute or for something later on down the road uh, meat hook massacre of course just a, a classic at this point it's going to keep us in the game especially against early aggro decks uh and also set us up to drain some life a little bit which is certainly very powerful celestis is here gonna help ramp us of course and then maybe even draw some some cards uh it does gain us some life as well which is again helping us stay in the game uh path to the festival fantastic card search a library for a basic land put it onto the battlefield then if there are three or more basic land types among lands you control you get to scry one you'll notice we are an abzan deck we do have the plains the swamp and the forest uh and so this should be relatively easy to get that scry off for but on top of that we can actually flash it back uh and continue to ramp ourselves later on in the game if we need to uh, Lithoform engine, engine, excuse me, a very powerful card, one that we'll hopefully get to utilize. It is a little expensive, but we do have a lot of ramp, as we have seen. Uh, and the idea is to copy activated or triggered abilities, uh, copy instants and sorceries, copy permanents. We can copy so many things with this card, uh, and it's it's absolutely insane if we can get to that. So it is only a one of here, not necessarily expecting to do that, but we do have the dig up, of course, which is going to help us pull these kinds of cards out as we need to. And really from here on out, we've got quite a number of cards that we'll want to pull out. Kaya being the next one, obviously, really the big uh, all-star of the deck here. 
five mana, five loyalty, exile target non-land permanent is massive. If we can actually copy that, we should be able to just get rid of anything on the opponent's board we need to, gets around indestructible, anything we need, and just really power some stuff out. Uh, also does protect our own non-token creatures. Uh, not that we've got too many, of course, but the Vorinclex in particular is a big one uh, that we'll want to copy for sure. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Uh, one thing to note here, uh, you get an emblem on that minus seven at the beginning of your upkeep. You can cast a legendary spell from your hand, from your graveyard, or from among cards you own in exile without paying their mana cost. Obviously, we've got quite a number of legendary spells as you look through the deck here, and so that is actually massive. If we get to copy that, we are golden. Uh, we can really do some damage. The deck of many things is in here. We can roll some dice, hopefully get some good effects as we need to. Very, very powerful. Uh, Professor Onyx, a tried and true classic as well. That Magecraft gonna come in handy because we can copy instants and sorceries and it's just gonna drain some life from the opponent. You'll notice we've got a lot of life gain in this deck to really help us stay in the game. Vorinclex, of course, massive, massive hit on this deck because it's a 6-6 triple haste, sure, but whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent, put twice that many counters instead. That is huge for our Planeswalkers, of which we only have two, but they're really important Planeswalkers to get those counters on, so if we can do that, great. Also shuts down a lot of the opposing stuff that we might be facing, opposing Planeswalkers, anything like that, so we'll see how it goes. And then last but not least, we have Verdant Mastery, which we can use, of course, just to ramp us mostly. Uh, nothing too crazy there. Uh, we do have the Field of Ruin as a one-of to deal with anything that we might see on the land side, but other than that, that's the deck, guys. Again, hello, good game. Put this one together. I have not tested it yet, so we're going to be learning this one a little bit on the fly, but should be a very, very fun one, guys. So let's jump right in right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, yeah, I mean, we can definitely keep this. Uh, we've got the Shambling Gas, which might help ramp us a little bit. And that Verdant Mastery definitely will. One thing to note here, guys, these games might go a little bit longer than some of the previous games or some other decks that we play here, uh, just because while it is a mid-range deck, it's really looking to take over the game over a good portion of time. Uh, and so we'll do the best we can. We might get three games in, but I just want to warn you ahead of time, we may only get two. Just depends how the deck functions and what we find ourselves against, of course. So uh, we'll throw this out. We'll attack in. No reason not to get a point of damage off right now. Uh, that Verdant Mastery, Probably gonna be something we just end up playing right away, uh, but we will see. There's a dig up as well. Uh, let's go ahead and throw this out. Do we want to ramp here? Uh, I think not. I think we'll just pass. No real reason to rush uh, with the dig up. I'd like to save it for something a little more important. We've got those uh, big, big planeswalkers that we'd like. We've already got the boring clex, so at this point, uh, it's just a matter of hitting our planeswalkers and hopefully capitalizing on that boring clex here. A little worried that the opponent might have some ways of just like straight killing off some stuff here, obviously. Uh, red black is a scary color combination, and especially with uh, these snowlands, we do expect things like frostbite uh, here. Okay, uh, we'll create a treasure token, that's fine. A um, little annoying, of course, but uh, that is okay. Um. I think we'll go ahead and block and just save ourselves the damage. Not that we're in a huge rush, of course, but um, I think that's okay. There's a Kaya. I actually think Kaya is the right answer here. So what we can do is utilize that treasure token, go ahead and play this and get rid of this slaughter specialist. Now, fully expecting, we know they could have frostbite, but we've got a backup Vorinclex here as just a really nice way to get in for some damage very quickly and obviously deal with whatever they might have. That's not something they're going to be able to just frostbite, so we'll see. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can we do? Um, I think I want to dig up once here. Let's see what we get. Uh, oh, I guess we... Ooh, bit of a mistake on my end. We should have definitely gotten a white source there, but that's okay. Um... Do we want to cleave or uh, cleave this out, or do we just want a Verdant Mastery? I think we'll just go this route uh, to guarantee the next turn Vorinclex. I think that's a little more important. Uh, two, three, four. We'll just go here. Put one land card under the taps. We'll put a, a green source here. We'll put these two out. Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll go ahead and plus up here. This is obviously just going to die, uh, but that's okay. 
Um, it's not great for us, of course, but we do get the dig up here so we can actually search out whatever we need to. Would have loved to have gotten that white source off of the dig up. That was kind of a mistake, but it worked out actually okay, so. Interesting. Okay, uh, this... Hmm. This might actually solve our problem slightly here in that we may actually get to keep Kaya around uh, thanks to this. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. Would love a meat hook massacre here, honestly. Just being able to, to sweep their board would be fantastic. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and play this out. Um, can we dig up plus meat hooks? So that would give us, no, not enough at all. That's fine. All right, let's do this. Uh, put a counter on, should we exile a permanent or should we do this? I think we'll put the uh, shields up here. I think that's probably the safer bet. Uh, do we want to attack in here? They could double block, of course. Um, but I actually think that's okay. If they want to double block, the trick is they then can't kill Kaya. Now, of course, they can, but um, I think that that's okay. That might have been, I don't know. We're learning, we're learning, guys. Definitely misplays to be had here, so that is okay. Uh, cool. So we do get a little 1-1 in response to this, which is kind of nice. And then, of course, that boring clicks just goes back to our hand uh, as well. Cool. Um, fully expect Kaya to go down here. It probably was a better idea to exile something there, uh, but I think it was OK to do that. I mean, we did need to get some damage in at some point, and uh, certainly that's a good way to do it. They're going to abrade that. Interesting. So that way they can just attack here and then deal some damage the, with the rest of them on us, I suppose. That makes sense. Again, Meat Hook Massacre would do wonders. It might have been worth it to, instead of playing Boring Clex, just get that Meat Hook Massacre last turn. Um, but regardless, I think this will potentially work out OK. We'll have to count up some mana. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. So we can do this plus play meat hook for three. That's not very good. Um, I don't have anything else in hand though, which is pretty helpful for us. So we can do this and pass. Um, and then they're subject to top decks. I think we just go that route. Uh, I don't love it, but I do think it's probably the right play. Still trying to save that dig up for if we can get something really good, but um, and maybe it would have been correct to go ahead and meet uh, pull the meat hook massacre with this, but I'm just not sure. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna boast this, uh, which is the entire point of them doing this. We are gonna obviously just kill that. <clears throat> okay. Um, All right, let's go ahead and dig up here. I think we just need to. Um, we can Kaya, actually. I actually think Kaya is the answer. Um, so what this allows us to do is, of course, just kill something. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, <laughs> we just get to do this. Um, now, we are still under a, quite a bit of pressure here, but that's definitely the play. Uh, we just get to go for it here. Wow, I definitely didn't even think about doubling up on the counters. We should have actually looked at uh, Professor Onyx. That was kind of a mistake, but that's okay. We actually just get to replay permanence now at this point. Um, oh wait, no, they just kill us. Oh man. Oh, missed opportunity. Dang guys, we, they kill us exactly. That was just a good draw on their end. Fair enough, they got us there. We definitely misplayed a little bit there, but I actually think um, it turned out okay. Uh, let's jump into game two right now. All right, guys, here we are for game two, and unfortunately, this is a terrible keep, so we will go ahead and mulligan that. Uh, this is okay, we'll keep it. Uh, certainly don't love it, but we've got enough here that we can maybe do some stuff. Uh, We've got plenty of ramp in hand. I think we can go this route and that is okay. Um, we'll see what we draw also here. Might be something worthwhile. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and play this out first. Uh, this will come into play, of course, untap next turn and then we can emergent sequence just to get something out. 
Uh, looks like we're against a life gain deck, which is going to be potentially problematic, but we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and get our white source. Uh, Want to make sure that we've got all of the, the colors of mana that we, we possibly can get here. Obviously, we kind of messed up the last time, so it's nice to get this out here now. Um, and hopefully... Sure, they're going to Evolving Wilds. So I assume a Scoot Swarm style deck, if they've got an Evolving Wilds in there, that would just make the most sense. Uh, which, truthfully for us, isn't the end of the world because that Meat Hook Massacre really does a number on a Scoot Swarm deck. So I'm actually okay with that. Not great, but okay. Uh, hopefully we draw a land here. Oh, we did not. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this now. Uh, we just kind of have to, I think. We'll get a uh, Forest. And see what happens. Um, truthfully, a planes might have been a better option, though, I guess, just to get everything out, but that's okay. They are very much on that life gain end of things. Um, Meat Hook Massacre Man would do a lot against this. Uh, wouldn't solve our problem by any means, but it would certainly help out. I think just sweepers like Doomscar might be a better option for this list. Uh, that's one area where I think this could be improved. With that being said, obviously we do have things like Boring Clex that we need to play around. Um, but Doomscar with the Kaya in the in the deck isn't that big of a deal because you just get to replay. Obviously, man, we are not drawing what we need to draw here at all. Um, okay, uh, let's dig up first uh, just to get a basic land that we can then go ahead and play and then what we can do is <sighs> wish we could do both but we have to do this I think uh, we'll get a swamp wow I mean that's very good uh, I guess we keep it but we're pretty dead this coming turn honestly like that's kind of the problem is we're just we're not getting the things to deal with their things if that makes sense uh and so we are pretty well dead here uh we do get to block one of these guys of course so i mean we do live quote unquote a turn but we're really not getting there unfortunately and uh we we are forced to block here um so we can kaya but that's not gonna do it uh can exile this that's all well and good but we are just dead unfortunately uh man i'm having i'm struggling with this deck this is not i, I want to point out again we're on the learning curve here so hello good game everybody watching this is not on the deck building i don't think i think this is on me we will take the opportunity though and use it as a learning experience that's fine and hopefully we can get a win at uh, in this third game, which we do have time for, so we will go ahead and get that one in. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go concede here. There's no reason to keep that one going. Let's see if we can get it in game three, guys. All right, guys, here we are. This is our third game, probably our last game as well. And I think based on the Meat Hook Massacre, potentially alone, we will keep this hand. Uh, let's see if we can do a little better this time. Looks like another life gain deck. Not really a surprise, of course, but uh, definitely a bit of an annoyance. Um, double dig up is kind of nice. We can get another green source here. Oh, well, that kind of solves our problem still. Um, I guess with that in mind, we don't actually have to, to run the dig up out yet. Uh, we can just kind of wait, see what happens here. Uh, sure. That is a bit of an annoying creature for the uh, simple fact that it's got a big butt, uh, which makes it a little tricky for us to deal with, but... <laughs> pun intended we'll figure that out guys i just want to encourage you i know you saw it at the top of the video and i uh i mentioned it as well in the intro but something to keep in mind we have got a really really fun series coming out very shortly i want to encourage everybody please check that out that is coming out on um february 8th that's next tuesday i believe uh, and it's an absolutely fun series, guys. This is really going to be a good one. Uh, highly encourage you to check it out. I don't think we want that. Um, because it's not only just going to be a fun, kind of janky series, of course, but it is going to also be... I will go ahead and dig up one more time here as well. Uh, but it is also going to be a semi-competitive thing, collaborative. We get to hang out with our good friend Country Fried, who is another up-and-coming uh, MTG YouTuber. Highly encourage you to check him out. Go ahead, subscribe to him, because you can get to see both sides of how this is going to work. 
uh, and it's very, very fun. I'm, I'm telling you it's worth it. Um, do we go ahead and meat hook for four? Uh, yeah. Um, I think we do. Let's just get everything off the table here. It's gonna slow them down at least a little bit, uh, and we actually gain a little bit of life back in that process, so that seems useful. Um, they could have some very good spells here still, so I'm a little worried about that, but looks like they may actually be a little, little behind. Uh, that's good with me. Uh, all right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and dig up. Um, and the question is, what do we want to pull? I think it's this because it slows this down, right? Uh, and we'll go ahead and pull a land here as well. Kind of nice that we get to uh, double up on some of these ramp spells because it really sets us apart in the upcoming turns. So I'm I'm hoping for the best here. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Pretty straightforward turn for us. We could deadly dispute this, I suppose. Uh, but I think we'll pass, actually. A uh, little worried about what they could have. Righteous Valkyrie is very common in these decks, obviously, and that's a problem for us. Uh, really kind of hope they just try and activate this. Um, it doesn't get counters, so that would be a problem for them. Uh, and this doesn't actually get counters either. Uh, yeah, that's kind of fine. That's actually very fine. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here uh, is a very old trick. We're going to block, and then we are going to sacrifice it. Pretty straightforward, but what that does is allow us to save ourselves the damage, still draw a couple cards, and get a treasure token. We do lose a little bit of life here. Um, now, if I am correct, yeah, these do not get counters still, so that pacifism effect, while good in general, is not necessarily at its best here. Um, hmm. I think we Verdant Mastery. Uh, one, two, three, four. But two, under our control, tapped. We will happily do that. Um... I think we'll go ahead and Deadly Dispute, hitting our little treasure token here. That's not a big hit for us. Um, we could throw a Shambling Ghast out. Do we want to throw the other one out? I mean, I guess so. It really doesn't hurt at this point, so let's do it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I really like that Vorinclex shuts this down. Um, they do get something back from the graveyard here, but they don't get to throw counters on anything. That's huge. That's really, really huge. Um, and now if they do attack in with the Leon and War Leader, like we actually can double block and kill it still. So it's safe-ish for us. They do gain some life, of course, but that's it. Cool. So what we'll do is go ahead and do this. We'll double block uh, and then give this minus two, minus two. Uh, from the Shambling Gas here. Now they're gaining life, but they're not outpowering us here, which is very good. Uh, target creature gets minus one, minus one. Let's do it. Uh, we actually gain a life in that process as well. All right. Uh, we're not really getting very far, though, I'll be honest. Let's go ahead and do this. Get a basic lands. Uh, it does give us a 4 4, which is quite nice. Um, I guess we'll just Verdant Mastery. We've drawn like every land we could possibly have, so at this point, <laughs> um, it's not much left. Uh, I mean, I guess we could have activated that, but that's about it. All right, we'll just pass here. We are going to take a pretty big hit, uh, but hopefully we stay in this game next turn and then we might be OK. Um, so this does gain, it does level up. It does not get a counter for doing that, but it is something that that, that level two is basically useless at this point. So that's kind of nice. Now that is scary. Yeah. So I do gain a life here. Uh, two life, excuse me. That doesn't matter. So we need to find a Kaya. Like a dig up would be very helpful. Um, gonna take a big hit there. Yeah, dig up would be amazing. Um, 
or just a planeswalker, any planeswalker. Um, okay. Yep. So I do get that, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's fine. Dude, what in the world is this? We have drawn so many lands. I mean, there's nothing we can do. We just draw lands. Um, yeah, that's uh, very unfortunate, but we just can't do anything about it. And they just win it. We got nothing we can do. Uh, we've drawn every single land at this point almost like it's insane uh yeah i think we'll just go ahead and concede here guys that's very unfortunate if we had drawn anything we could have definitely saved ourselves a turn but it is what it is it's just the way it works let's talk about this deck uh first and foremost this is my pick llama uh i wanted to mention this because it came up in a recording recently it's full of guitar picks uh anyway Second off, second off. Uh, hello, good game. First of all, thank you so much for putting this deck together. It was a really fun one, and I want to be clear, I definitely misplayed a good bit. That was not on the deck. Uh, unfortunately, that last game, we really just got unlucky. Um, and I think in general, we could have definitely, you know, had some better draws, but I do think a lot of it was me misplaying. Unfortunately, that led to us not winning a single game. Uh, but I still maintain, I think this deck is quite good. I would potentially retool it a little bit, uh, I, I love the inclusion of the Meat Hook Massacre. I think it's a really strong play in general, just in standard in general right now. However, I like the idea of like for three mana being able to just kill everything with a Doom Scar that's been foretold. Uh, and because we're running white, it uh, doesn't seem impossible to do. So I would maybe lean that way, uh, but that's just me because we're not going too crazy with the creatures anyway. It kind of works out. So that's just my thoughts. All that to say, this deck was a really fun one to play. Uh, and I do think, given some more time, we could probably get it to work a little bit stronger uh, based on my own gameplay. So that was on me, but regardless, really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Watching me lose three games in a row is always kind of fun anyway. Uh, let me know what I could have done better, of course. And hello, good game. Thank you so much again for, for sharing this deck. Please, guys, go check him out. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are not already. If nothing else, to win some free cards. And we'll talk again very soon. Stay tuned for It Is What It Is, February 8th. That is going to be an awesome series. Really hope you guys enjoy that. But until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.